And because it's entirely personality based, your whole thing is getting people to like you, you know? You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. There was no reason for you to push. Sour Squad, we've had a bit of time to adjust to the new Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 meta, and while I think I'm ready to do the first tier list of this season, we got official confirmation that the first update is about to drop this week, and it's bringing back Midas to the game, long awaited. And not only that, we're getting the return of one of the best LTMs in Fortnite history, the Floor is Lava. Midas is supposed to come back as a boss NPC, and he'll be holding the Hades Chain Mythic item, which you been waiting on since the beginning of this season. We've also seen some leaks at the rest of the weaponry that's supposed to come out during this season, including Midas's drum gun, a new reworked deagle, and tactical AR that are supposed to take weapon mods now, and even some leaks from a data mine about the avatar mythic items that are supposed to come towards the end of this season. If you've been keeping up with Fortnite lately, towards the end of every season, they'll do a collaborative crossover with a limited time battle pass. Last season, it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In chapter four, they were mostly anime, and this season it's gonna be Avatar The Last Airbender. That's why Korra's in your battle pass, by the way. But since all that new stuff is confirmed to be coming, it's a little bit early to be doing tier lists and builds and loadouts and stuff. So instead, I'm gonna be giving you guys some advice because I know a certain proportion of you are YouTubers yourselves, small style YouTubers, and you're trying to get your own gaming channels up. So in this video, I drop a pretty dominant dub in the ranked mode of Fortnite while just giving advice about how to optimize your YouTube and make better videos. I'm not saying I'm a pro or anything, but I've definitely stepped my game up in recent memory, and there's a couple things that I could teach you guys. So if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below how your YouTube channel's going, what you think you can improve on, or what you struggle with. Oh my god, there's someone hiding in there. I did not expect that, bro. <laughs> that was not the guy I saw on the roof. Who did he fire at? Oh. I think I might end up doing really good in ranked mode because people are going to play so passively. I'm going to have, you know, attacker's advantage. They're not going to expect me to be so aggro on them. At least until I get into the later parts of ranked. I'm in plat. Once you reach diamond, that's when it gets sweaty, because diamonds play with unreal players. I actually want him to come for this. He don't want it. And he actually left the coin because he doesn't want radar on him. We have two people here, really. And I think I just go take that coin. That's why I mean that everyone is playing for endgame and not wanting the fight. Like, he limbed a coin guy and didn't even bother. We are in ranked, so, you know, everyone's going to be taken more seriously for their points. I, I think I just go towards island. That's my play. And Vicious, hello. Welcome to stream, brother. Good to see you. Them views going up. Yes, them views. We're mastering the YouTube system. That's what it is. Once you start thinking of YouTube as a game with uh, optimal and suboptimal routes, Aunt Bicious says, I suck at consistency with coming up with long form ideas. Consistency really is key, honestly. But uh, the, I the idea is critical, but it's also the packaging too. I'll tell you, one day just sit down and come up with a bunch of ideas like write a bunch down that's why it's good to have a main game if you have a main game that you're doing content on and then you just take a day sit down with a journal and think of all the videos or even more go to successful channels in the game you're playing look at the videos they have that have succeeded extra like their best performing videos and then think about how you can twist it to have your own flavor on it my recent stuff has been tutorials but i got a journal full of ideas right now the idea phase is big i think that's really what it is that's what separates me right now from the youtuber i used to be is that i focus so much on the ideas and the packaging simple fact is is if 
people don't click the video, it doesn't matter how good the video was. You gotta present a novel idea, or at least an interesting take on an established idea. You do very different content though. You do IRL content, which... Wow, the drop was right below him. Are you kidding me? IRL content has its own barriers, which is it's entirely personality based. And because it's entirely personality based, your whole thing is getting people to like you, you know? You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. There was no reason for you to push. I would say gaming is one of those things where you there's a quality. You need a minimum level of quality. But once you achieve that, it's actually a little bit easier. Because people will come to your videos literally just because they're looking for tips on a certain game or advice on a certain game. So you gotta you gotta blend the two. You gotta blend like it's showing your personality with doing content that may be boring to you, but you know will do well. Like Fortnite tutorials ain't the most intriguing thing, but I know how to teach people. That's one of my skills. Kind of blowing my whole advantage here. How did that not hit him? Oh, that's so lame. Wow. There was no reason for you to poke. Let's go. Dude. Did I really just stack two solo dubs in a row? One of them in ranked? Let's go, baby! Let's go! What the f kind of endgame was that? Let's go! Let's go! I told you, we're getting better. That's, that's all it is. We're simply getting better at Fortnite. If it's even possible. All right, ambitious put a put a lot down. Let me let me parse through it so I can read it. I see you learning the sauce. If I chose gaming and picked a game, I would definitely pop off. But I'm doing more IRL. I love Fortnite, but making content for it wasn't as enjoyable. It's definitely a grind. Uh, gaming is all YouTubes are a grind. Is the thing because you have to give people something valuable that they want to hold. Zero eight bit cookie. That guy's diamond and he pushed us across the water. That's crazy, dude. I mean, if you're IRL, you gotta be much more topical. Like, one of the top IRL commentary channels is Moist Critical. Moist Critical has the format. But you combine that- If you took Moist Critical's commentary, did a little better editing, you would probably have a space. It's just about finding the space for you. Ambitious, the other part of his question. How do you stay so motivated? Sometimes I get demotivated and feel like not making content. Then I overthink and it's just a roller coaster. I mean, I would be lying if I would said I didn't have negative thoughts or that I didn't, you know, obsess over bad results. I discipline myself, essentially. I look at YouTube as a path to self-mastery. That comes down in large part to controlling bad habits that I have, like procrastination. I was a much worse procrastinator before I started YouTube. And that's also, like I said, why it helps to have video ideas down. Because you you making videos, your grind should not be codependent on whether you feel inspired or not. Because you're too small of a YouTuber to work just on inspiration. You're not internet historian, where no matter what he puts out, it's going to get 3 million views. The best way I can describe it, bro, is uh, most people think in terms of passion, it's the least relevant ingredient. What you need is discipline and desire if you desire something and you discipline yourself towards it that's what's important the passion will come and go you know passion comes in waves but your content can't afford to come in waves that's really the best advice i can give